Hello everyone, welcome back to landscaping. The job for us today will be to build a gravel pad for a swimming pool. We will also be digging a trench for the electrical wires. I just arrived here at the shop a little before 7.30. The temperature is already 79 degrees and it should warm up to just over 100 degrees. Let's grab the keys here to both trucks and head on out. On the way over to the job site, we will have to stop by the local supplier to pick up two tons of three quarter inch gravel. Today we will be using both the 2020 Ford F750 and the Cummins Dually. Let's get this power stroke warmed up here and we haven't really been using this truck too much this season. And that will change here as we are taking more and more jobs that require uh, us using the dump truck. If you do enjoy today's video, I do ask that you please leave a like as much appreciated as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Let's get the Cummins uh, warmed up here and while it's warming up, let's take a full walk around of the equipment we'll be using. And the Cummins is squatting quite a bit here. This is a pretty heavy trailer full of equipment. We have the Deer Mini Excavator, the Plate Compactor, and the Deer Tracked Skid Steer. I decided to go with the tracks for today so we don't tear up the yard, really want to preserve it as best we can. Can. The story here with today's job is I got a call from one of our clients. We do a lot of mowing and a lot of other landscaping projects for her and she wants a swimming pool for her, her kids and she wanted it done the same week as she was calling so I pushed a few jobs aside and we are doing it today. And I got the shop doors all closed and the follow me mod all set up. I really do like the mod, it's really helpful for single player videos. And I will have a lot more multiplayer ones coming as well. Now one thing I'm noticing, uh, there is a lot of weight here on the trailer. almost really need to kind of reload it because the brakes on this Cummins are really uh, working pretty hard to even uh, get a slow down here. But we have just about arrived here at the local supplier. Now I really do like uh, showcasing this here in my videos. And I I definitely will be changing up just a little bit on kind of how we do uh, some things as well because I find it pretty cool uh, loading up the materials and kind of some of the behind the scenes to uh, the uh, landscaping supplies that are needed for the job. We'll be using this John Deere 524K, one of my favorite loaders here in the game. This is just one awesome one. It's pretty big and it is great as well. We actually use this a ton for snow plowing. Maybe, uh, just maybe we'll buy a bigger loader for the company. I hope everyone's been having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has uh, so far been pretty good here. It's been really warm out and been just trying to do projects inside the house. Now I have noticed this does take just a bit of a longer time to get loaded up here, but I think each bucket is just around one and a half tons here. So I think two buckets. Uh, uh, maybe uh, three buckets should be good to go. I do want to bring a little bit of extra material. We could always bring it back to the job site if, uh, if we do need more or even back to the shop. And we also won't charge a customer for the material we don't use. So far, I've really been enjoying this uh, 2020 landscaping season so far. Lots and lots of cool projects. The lawn care side of business has really been taking off. I can't wait to demo that Kubota uh, next week as well. A lot of you guys really did like uh, that we got that demo, which was pretty neat. I think we'll do half a bucket here. That way we have four tons, two extra, and I kind of think we'll need it. I might go a few extras deeper. I really want maybe a 5 inch gravel pad so that the above ground pool is on a nice solid ground. Now this above ground pool here is uh, not uh, in the inflatable uh, type so it is kind of the nice uh, structure around it which is nice and it's 4 feet uh, pool as well. It's not too deep. Usually the uh, above ground pools aren't uh, like that. But there we go. We got it all set up, all loaded up and let's head on over. Now I'm really excited to be using the new Deer Mini Excavator here, first time using it. We'll be mainly using that for the trench work needed. Uh, we have to uh, dig quite a few uh, trenches for the electrical wires. Now we don't have the right bucket for it, but I don't think we'll have a problem with that today. Oh, this following mod is so, so cool. It's just awesome to have, and I, I really do like it quite a lot. 
we are going here to one of the newer uh, higher end uh, colonial subdivisions here as well really getting on the brakes wow uh, definitely need to look into getting a trailer with brakes or even one that just is a little bit uh, bigger to fit the load a little bit better but we have arrived here at the job site right over here to the right hand side so let's get hazard lights going and let's go take a look I just put the ramps down here and put the F750 in the driveway. I think we'll probably just make a pile here of the gravel and bring it around back with the skid steer. But let's come around back here and take a look at where they want it. Now one thing I am noticing, they are going to be cleaning this pool quite a lot with those trees. But uh, that's not uh, what we have to focus on. And so it's going to go right about here. And I believe it's a 20 foot diameter pool. So it's a pretty big one. And it's pretty much going to go right where we are standing. So let's get the trailer unloaded here and get uh, the deer uh, skid steer. I'm really excited to be using this as well. It's a lot of fun uh, to use the skid steers here in the game. And let's hop here on the inside. We do have to be a little careful here. We really don't want uh, to lift it too high there. And I do want to bring the play compactor around uh, back with us as well. It's pretty much just balancing on the bucket. And let's kind of just re-push uh, it back. And now I have noticed it's a little tricky to use the uh, play compactors here in the game. But I really do like using them for the realism as well. I do strive for a high level of realism. But it is always tricky as well uh, just uh, being a game. If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. Awesome. So I think right about here seems to be good. Let's uh, just put the bucket down here, uh, hop on out, and let's see if we could just uh, slide the play compactor off. Now this, I would say, almost weighs 200 pounds. It's just heavy, full steel, and uh, it has a pretty big engine here on it. So let's get this turned around here, and let's see exactly what we have to do. I think what we'll do is we'll just put the bucket down, and we should be able to scrape away, no problem. Yep, and we'll just kind of keep going here in circles. Going to get a little dizzy, I would think. Now, if you do have any cool ideas here for the landscaping series, please let me know. We have a lot of projects to come that I'm really, really excited for. And we are just about done here. Really am excited that we were able to get all that done in a pretty reasonable amount of time. So let's head around. Now one thing I am trying to do is not drive on the same tire tracks back and forth so we don't damage the lawn. That's just something small that could really help out because we don't want to be tearing up this really, really nice looking lawn. Now let me know down below in the comments guys, do you have a pool at your house? I think pools are pretty cool, especially you're good in the summer months as well. And let's uh, pull the F750 forward here. Now I have not updated this to the latest one uh, from Wood Meadow Farming, but I'm really, uh, really excited to be using this truck again. Looks so, so sweet. Oh yeah, this should be enough gravel here for us now. We did bring some extra along with us, which is a good thing. And hopefully uh, we could use it all. If not, we'll just bring it back to our shop. Now I am in the works to do more multiplayer videos as well, which I'm really excited for. I'm a big fan of multiplayer, and it's uh, just a little uh, bit of work, a little bit more complicated uh, than just my single player videos here, but I really am excited uh, to be bringing it back here to the channel. I definitely want to be in a swimming pool right about now here. We have the AC cranked on inside the deer here. And uh, the uh, temperature gauge is showing 97 degrees here. So it's already really warm in only uh, about an hour or two since we've been here at the job site. I really do like the look here of these uh, deer. Now, uh, someone did comment saying deer is kind of part of John Deere as well, so that's pretty cool. It looks like for their construction equipment, they changed it from John Deere to just deer, which is pretty neat. And uh, I didn't know that, and you guys have taught me quite a lot here about some of the equipment as well, which is awesome. Now I do have a new farming series here in the works. I'm just trying to finish it up. I think next week will be it. Hopefully that will be it. I've been just busy doing a lot of projects here. And I do have a pretty big one coming that I will be revealing probably within the next few weeks as well. Alright, so I think this should be the last bucket here for us. And then we could place down the pool. 
I think the pool here will probably take about an hour or two to get fully set up, but we'll help out. And uh, they uh, pay us a lot of money here, especially for today's job, uh, which is awesome. So that looks to be it. The last thing I really want to do is I actually left a little bit there so we could uh, use our shovel is run the play compact. So let's bring this around here. This is always a little tricky to use, I have noticed, but uh, we should be perfect. And we'll just slowly go over the entire thing. I am trying to add as much detail as I can here to these videos to be as realistic as possible. I'm a big fan of landscaping and uh, it's just an awesome part and it's pretty cool we could do this here in Farm Sim. Just back and forth here, really nice uh, passes are doing it. Now one thing about the trenches that will be a bit tricky, a little bit more work is they actually want the pumps out of sight on the back side of the pool. So that's going to be a little bit of a longer trench here for us, but I don't think we'll have a problem. And I think that's going to be good here. We'll just go right along the edges and move it out of the way here. So let's get the pool built and then we'll catch you guys uh, here for the uh, trench work. And here is a swimming pool. We did a pretty good job here on the gravel. A little bit further is actually really good because when the kids are splashing and everything, it's going to come over the side and the chlorine is definitely just going to destroy all of that uh, lawn around it. But up last, the last thing we have to do, which will be a lot of work, is dig a trench from right about here all the way to uh, this uh, box over here. So let's hop in the skids here. We'll bring it around front and we'll switch over to the mini excavator. Now this will be our first job really getting to use that, which should be awesome, and wow, we do have a lot more gravel here. So that's one thing I will have to uh, discuss with them. Maybe I'll leave them a little bit extra, or we'll just load it back into the truck. But let's get out the mini excavator, and it seems like this is what's uh, doing all that weight on the front of this trailer. So that's probably not the best thing. And let's hop on the inside, get it turned on. Perfect. Now this bucket here is not the best here, not ideal for trench work, so we're actually uh, not going to be digging uh, the trench the proper way, but this will still do here for us. So let's kind of hop here on the first person view. I'm actually really excited uh, to just have a canopy here. It's a little bit nicer, but we are uh, definitely going to be uh, covered in sweat by the end of this. Let's bring it around back here, and I think we'll probably do a few uh, buckets and then we'll uh, just call it a day. It's been a pretty good project here for us. Pretty successful when the pool is just about done here for us. Now one thing, I actually really do like doing it like this. And let's switch camera views here. Uh, make it a little bit easier here for us. We'll dig it this way, the trench. And I think this will might be even a little bit faster. We'll dig down. Perfect. And awesome. So we got that piece done there. And we'll do this last one. And I think that will conclude today's landscaping project. We're just about done here. Probably about uh, 10 more feet of trenching here to the back of the pool. But thanks for watching today's video. Getting to use the deer equipment to build the pad. And the kids will be able to enjoy it. Maybe, uh, just maybe when I'm done I'll hop in uh, uh, quickly to kind of get cooled off here. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one. And subscribe for more.